Uh, I'm Thomas, the CEO of Green Pocket, and we are a startup from Cologne. And um, when we talk about climate crisis, and we all know this, uh, the main medicine is uh, to prevent uh, and reduce the carbon footprint. So CO2 reduction is the goal. But if you want to do this, and if you look at Germany as one of the biggest countries in Europe, then you see if you want to manage something, you need to measure it. And we don't have digital metering infrastructure in many areas in Germany, in the building sector, and no customer interface. So no managing without measuring. But there are good signals in the market. We see that there is a momentum for growth. Uh, when we look at uh, the growth momentum from legal impact, ESG, BlackRock is pushing uh, this movement and social pressures, more and more people are looking for uh, these solutions. Uh, and we see that there is a digital infrastructure growing well uh, very significantly. Uh, that means the smart meter rollout will see 15 million smart meters over the next years coming up. Currently, out of 50 million electricity meters in Germany, only 0.5 million are digital, so 1%. So we are on a trip, on a journey for transformation. And another area where we see a lot of growth in the next years is the submetering part, especially in the building sector. Because if you want to measure your carbon footprint, you need infrastructure. And at this tipping point, we um, have an excellent offer to those companies because in the last 12 years, we built our platform, our solutions for residential customers and especially for the corporate and real estate uh, segment uh, with our solutions. We run through over 150 projects for 90 customers. Currently, we're serving 50,000 metering points um, with those products uh, and uh, with working with those clients. Mostly, we deliver our services through utilities. You see on the left-hand side, uh, among them, some of the biggest municipality utilities in Germany, as it Rhine Energy or Minover, we are working with since 10, 11 years. And Stadtwerke Munich, on the other hand side, more and more of our customers are intensifying the usage of our tools, like insurance company of AXA, Ford, the motor company, or uh, uh, Nike is a bundle chain customer uh, using intensively our services. So what are we doing? We try to identify, to detect inefficiencies, optimal operations for facilities and plants. So use cases, we're going to start with uh, number three hospital chain, Sana Kliniken, with the number two pet food store chain with more than 450 stores in Germany and Austria, Futterhaus, and Metro, uh, the leading cash and carry market, where we start a pilot with uh, five markets, about automatic adaption of the influencing factors based on our feature energy baseline generator, detect the inefficiencies, and then learn out of those data for the future based on pattern recognition. Another example, what our tool, mature tool, can do is we work with uh, the DSO in Hamburg, and they're going to serve the 400 schools in Hamburg. And so far, they had very limited monitoring, and this is high cost because, especially in schools, we see a lot of inefficiencies. So what we do now is to develop with those schools uh, a pattern recognition tool on anomaly detection, setting automatic alarms if they detect inefficiencies. So they can, the whole team can then work and support uh, and prevent those inefficiencies. A typical uh, example for a municipality utility that is with a growing number of LoRaWAN networks working and they um, try to uh, identify inefficiencies in district heating and also in power losses and water losses. So we, we could identify with this 40% of inefficiencies over the course of the last month. Um, and a new exciting project we're going to do with Bosch Thermotechnik, the European market leader for gas heating systems and uh, heat pumps. And they have a lot of sensor data within their uh, heat pumps. 
And they give um, these data to us, and we identify um, with those uh, an error database. And based on this library, we want automatically uh, uh, gain efficiencies uh, and save costs because many of those gas heating systems and heat pumps are not in, installed in the optimal way, and you can reduce the carbon footprint significantly with those. Um, another, uh, we see that the another need is, uh, especially when it comes to carbon footprint reporting, many of the companies today, especially in the real estate segment, they have no clue about their carbon footprint, and what they have to do is they bring all together, manually read data in an Excel file, and they combine all the Excel files from 80 or 100 buildings, and then they have to do it manually. This is not efficient. And if we see a digital infrastructure coming within the next years, it makes it much more easy to work with a, a very efficient tool automatically um, uh, and in-year management of carbon footprint reporting. Um, what are the main factors that brings companies to select Green Pocket as a partner for this task. It's the flexibility we built in our software platform since years of work. But we combine it with a very easy to use interface. So simplicity is important because you have different user types and administration roles and it must be easy. And we add intelligence to that, automatic patterns. Uh, so these are the differences. And what is, our, uh, what is our plan for the next five years? We, grow, we grew our uh, meter point figure space from 5,000 over 15,000 to more than uh, 55,000 as of today. Uh, but we will grow it by the end of next year to 100,000 and then uh, up to 2025 to 1 million meter points. And we see that there's a huge value out of this growing database, uh, growing knowledge and growing value and we want to do this with partners, with prop tech startups, sensor device manufacturers, meter operators, uh, efficiency consultants, and IT platforms. And we offer a freemium model for them. And if you are one of those partners, and we have seen and connected here during those two days with a lot of them, uh, become a partner and start a free trial with us. Uh, please drop a line, and uh, we would be quite happy to start to collaborate with you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the time.